we start uh, ating uh, pag-aaral sa gabi nito laban uh, lobi ng Panginoon ang kanyang bandag na Espiritu para maintindihan at maunawaan ang kanyang salita para sa ating usapan ngayon so, so manalangin po tayo uh, ama namin ama namin banal Diyos na makapagin, ikaw ang Diyos na mapagmahal, ikaw ang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, ikaw ang Diyos na nagbibigay ng aming buhay at nagbibigay ng aming kalakasan. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong kapatan at kabutihan sa bawat isa sa amin. Salamat Panginoon sa oras na ito na iyong pinagkaloob na may share ang inyong banal na salita sa mga uh, anak mo, Panginoon. Salamat, Panginoon, sa, sa iyong banal na espiritu ang magbibig sa amin sa oras na ito. Turuan mo kami, Panginoon, at yakapin at buksan mo ang aming puso't isipin na, mag, uh, na maintindihan ang, iyong sana, ang salita mo, Panginoon sa amin. Salamat O God na ikaw ang nagbibigay uh, ng aming kalakasan at nagbibigay sa amin ng karunungan, kaunawaan, kaalaman na, na ma, maibahagi din sa mga anak mo Panginoon. Thank you Lord God sa iyong abag at grasya na patuloy mong pinaranas sa Panginoon kami nagpakumbaba sa oras na ito na humingi ng kapatawaran at kalinisan ng aming mga kasalaanang nagawa na hindi nakalupit dito sa iyong harapan. Na maging dapat dapat kami na lumalapit, na lumapit sa iyo sa oras na ito. Buksan mo ang aming puso't isipan at itago mo ako Panginoon at sa iyong likod at gamitin mo lang ako bilang instrumento at daluyan na iyong pagbaka ng Espiritu at Lord, ikaw ay buksan mo at dito ng bawat isa na maintindihan nila ang mga salita mo na itinatawag ng Panginoon. Bukis mo, Panginoon, ang aming bibig, isipan, at aming puso na, 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 na maipaguanag o mapahayag ang aming salita. Ikaw ang magsamahan mo kami, Panginoon, sa oras na ito at pamamagin ka na yung banal na Espiritu God, thank you Lord. So ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon, it's all about God choose us. God choose you. So in the book of 1 Peter uh, chapter 2 verse 9 to 10. So babasahin ko. But you are the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Verse 10, who once were not a people but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, question, are you believe that God chosen you to become His servant? God chose you, God chose you as a prayer warrior thing? Or God chose you as a worship leader in His ministry? And do you think God chose you as a pastor? Even we are not serving this ministry of God because of our sin na nagawa natin. When we are in the world, we 
because we are uh, we are here living in the sinful world that's why we commit sin nobody's perfect that's why uh, that's why God chose us or chose you to become a servant or when we are unbelievers how darkness has you experience in your life gaano ba uh, katindi kadilim kahirap na naranasan mo sa mundong ito when we when you are in uh, in in the world or when we, when you are when, or when we are unbelievers so become and unbelie- become believers of Christ so we, we we can answer this in our own kung ano ba talaga yung buhay natin when we are in in the world or or we are in unbelievers and we are believers of Christ so gaano ba katindi e gaano ba kadilim kahirap so sa so imagine natin yung buhay natin bilang isang unbelievers going to believers so napakalaki bang uh, nagiging uh, kakaiba kaibahan or nagbabago sa buhay natin uh, or or the same or pareho lang nung ikaw ay uh, believers uh, unbelievers and believers so na, may na may nabago ba sa atin bilang isang namamampalataya sa Panginoon so and then suddenly God chose us or God chose you to praise him and God called you out of darkness and God want you to stay in his marvelous light wow so yung dilim yung napakadilim na buhay na naranasan natin noon ngayon naranasan natin ang kaliwanagan ng Panginoon sa buhay natin. So, wala na tayo sa madilim na buhay dahil pinalitan na ng Panginoon ng liwanag. Wow. So, God chose you. Even you do not choose Him. Imagine, diba, pinili natin ang Pinili, eh, pinili tayo ng Panginoon kahit hindi natin siya pinili. Kahit, alang, kahit ilang bisis tayo tumalikod sa Kanya. Kahit ilang bisis natin siyang nireject. Di ba? So, He still God loves you. He still God loves us. Even we are, in, even we are a sinner. Because hindi tinitingnan ng Diyos ang ating mga kasalanan. Tinitingnan ng Diyos ang ating puso. Kung willing ka ba talaga na makilala siya? Or willing, ka, willing ba tayo na sumunod ayon sa kanyang kalooban? So, isipin natin mga kapatid na wala na tayo sa madilim na sitwasyon. Nandito na tayo sa liwanag, maliwanag na sitwasyon. Kasama ang Panginoong Yesus. Amen? So God treasure you, but not because of you. Not because of me, not because of us. When a person become, becomes a, a, a Christian, that take on an entirely different identity. So, if you are believers in Christ, of course, 
and obviously you are different to others. So iba na tayo. Iba na tayo sa sa, sa unbelievers because God chose you to know him more. Uh, God chose you to follow him. God chose you uh, out of darkness. Ma, uh, mapupunta tayo sa libuana. Dahil sa kanyang spirito na nananahan sa atin na nasundin ang kanyang kalooban. So you are different to others. So ang problema natin, if you are a Christian and you uh, and God chose you to be to his servant, but you are the same before. So nothing changed. So that is a problem. Why? Because you you are not changing. You are not transformed. You, you 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 are following doing worldly things that's why God tell us if you are believers in Christ of course obviously you are different to others dapat naging iba tayo sa sa unbelievers are you attitude na iba gawain na iba so gawain na unbelievers naging iba tayo magiging ilaw tayo sa kanila dahil sinasabi dito we are different to others so you are not the same before so you are new now di tayo pareho sa dating buhay so nagiging nagiging bago tayo ngayon dahil uh, binuhay muli ng Panginoon ng ating banal na espiritu na nandito sa atin. So it means ang banal na espiritu ang nag-uugnay sa Panginoon sa buhay natin. Kung patay ang ating banal na espiritu na nandito sa ating puso, so we are not connected to God. Because this this only one thing Ang kanyang banal na espiritu lang ang pwedeng makipag uh, uugnay o nakipag nakipag usap sa Panginoon. Wala na iba. Hindi ang banal na espiritu. Kung ang kung patay ang ating banal na espiritu, it means we are doing worldly things. We are the same before. Kaya kaya tayo uh, nagiging burn Again, born in the spirit, binago, binuhay muli ng Panginoon ang ating banal na espiritu para makausap natin muli ang Panginoon. Kung iisipin natin, kung imagine natin na dating buhay, hindi lagi tayo nakapag, makipag, nakipag-usap sa Panginoon. It's because we are enjoying the worldly things. We are enjoying, we are enjoying our money. Huh? We, are, we are enjoying our works. Nagpapakasaya tayo sa mundong ito sa pamamagitan ng ating kayamanan, yung pera, yung pleasure. Nagpapakasaya tayo gamit ng ating pera. So, it means wala tayong banal na spirit dahil hindi tayo nakikipag-usap sa, ban- sa Panginoon. Hindi tayo, saka tayo lumapit sa Panginoon dahil kilala natin ang Panginoon hanggang kilala lang sa isipan. We are not communicating 
time to time to our God. Dahil masaya na tayo sa mundong ito. Saka tayo, lumi, saka tayo lalapit sa Panginoon kung may problema tayo. Where do you think? That your Holy Spirit is alive. No? Dahil gusto ng Panginoon, buhayin muli ang iyong banal na Espiritu. But it's our choice. If you want to change, if you want to follow Him, Amen? Because we are not the same before. Kailangan natin hindi tayo pariyo. No. Saka ngayon. You are now creation by God. Because God chose you to become His servant in His kingdom. Pinili tayo ng Panginoon para mag, uh, mag-serve sa Kanya, sa Kanyang kaharian. Ang kaharian na ginawa ng Panginoon para sa atin, the group of believers, para, para ihayag ang Kanyang salita. Amen? But why other Christians or other believers are not still transforming their life. Even God chose him already to become his servant that are still carrying their old lifestyle. Ah. Bakit? Bakit ngayon you are a Christian and you are believers, but you are not transforming your life. Even that God chose you already to become His servant. Nananatili tayong unbelievers. Nananatili tayong word, worldly. Bakit? It is because that Holy Spirit is in you, in me, is not still alive. So patay pa din ang banal na Espiritu. Dahil nanatili tayo sa makamundong buhay araw-araw. So, if God chose us, but we are not transforming, and we are not following, and obeying His word, the big problem. Why? Because you're not, you're not transforming on who you are now. Because God already chose you to become His servant. To become His truly servant. But we are not following His will. Daladala pa rin natin yung old life. Old style yung nakasanayan nating buhay hindi pa rin nat- hindi pa rin nawawala hindi pa rin natin iniiwan so god wants us a truly servant it means we have to follow his will. Kalimutan natin yung dating buhay. Dahil gagawin na natin yung bagong buhay na ipinagkalob ng Panginoon sa atin. Amen. We are still mayabang. 
boasting, right? He said, we are, the, we are to be like-minded or we are a Christ-likeness. We know it is a very hard to become a Christ-likeness, but we can go through His Spirit of God. Hindi natin magagawa, hindi natin magiging, hindi maging, maging kagaya ng Panginoon Jesus kung wala tayong banal na Spirit. Magagawa natin to sa pamamagitan ng banal na Espiritu na nandito sa atin. Kung buhay ang banal na Espiritu sa atin ngayon, we can do it. We can follow Him. Amen? Dahil ang banal na Espiritu ang magtuturo sa atin, ang maglilid sa atin para gawin ang kaluban ng Panginoon sa atin. Amen? Praise God. Uh, so, what we learn should humble and inspire every believer. If you are in Christ, you must have humility. Amen. So, kung nasa Panginoon ka, dapat humble tayo. Magpakumbaba tayo. Dahil like Jesus Christ. He did not ignoring his father's will in his life when he, in, he on earth. Kahit gaano kasakit ang naramdaman niya, naranasan sa buhay niya nung time niya nandito sa salupa. Patuloy pa rin ang kanyang humility. Nagpakumbaba pa rin, ta- uh, nagpakumbaba pa rin siya. Kahit inaapak-apakan siya, Kahit nilatigo siya, dinuduraan. Walang sign na lumaban. Walang sign na nagdireklamo siya. Dahil he still hum- humbled. Yun ang Christ-like. Dapat yun ang gawin natin. Magpakumbaba tayo. Kahit tayo inaapakan tayo, tayo ng Napakan tayo ng iba. He's still humble. Dahil may Diyos tayo. Ang Panginoon ng bahala sa kanya. Amen? Because in the life of Jesus Christ, we can see a living demonstration of what it means to be humble. Because of life of Jesus Christ na sa atin, buhay sa buhay natin. It's living demonstration of what means to be humble. Amen. In his relationship with his Father God and also with people, he always proved himself to be a humble servant without pretension without pride and selflessness and selfish so wala na yun so if you are in relationship to God with people may prove natin sa ating sarili kung magpakumbaba tayo. Hindi tayo lalaban. We still humble. Even uh, ang ibang tao na galit sa'yo, yan mo. Wala ka namang ginawang masama against them. Against them. Pagpumbaba tayo. Because we are a servant of God. Tanggalin natin yung pride. Kaya madalas tayo may grabbing pride natin. Wala 
dagang ang pride ng tao ay yun ang humihila pababa sa atin. Amen. So, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6 to 8, says, For you are a holy people to the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a people for himself. A special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth. Verse 7. The Lord did not set his love on you or choose you because you were more in number than any other people. For you were the least of all peoples. Verse 8. But because the Lord loves you, and because He would keep the oath which He swore to your fathers, the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeem you from the house of bondage from the hand of Pharaoh king of Egypt if you lean if you learn that you are bent to sin by God what a fake should that have on you emotionally and psychologically? What might God want you to feel when you realize you are bent to sin by him? These verses offer one of the most profound or showing great knowledge and understanding. In First Peter chapter two, verse seven eight, talk about those who reject Christ and stumble in their disobedience. Now, verse seven. Now, to you who believe, this stone is precious, but to those who do not believe the stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Verse 8 A stone that causes people to stumble and a rock that makes them all. They stumble because they disobey the message, which is also what they were destined for. In First Peter chapter nine, verse, Amen. Finally, we are God's own prize position. Pagmamayari tayo ng Panginoon, so wala tayong uh, kayamanan sa mundong ito. That God's own everything is God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. God bless you all. See you next. God bless. Bye-bye.